Smallville, 2004. In Smallville, Bart Allen played The Flash instead of the more well-known Barry Allen, who was The Flash in the comics. In the fourth season of the Smallville TV series, Clark meets Bart Allen and learns that he isn't the only one who possesses superpowers independent of meteor rocks. Bart, meanwhile, is presented as a master burglar who could easily outpace Superman. Although he was the fourth iteration of the DC Comics hero, Bart Allen was viewed as an intriguing possibility for Smallville because he was less well-known than his predecessors Barry Allen and Wally West. Arrow, 2013. The Flash was a forensic scientist for the Central City Police Force in this series, which avoided the ethical minefield of making him a superhero in a world where they had explicitly been banned. That's all we're going to tell you, though, so that those of you who are considering watching the show won't be spoiled. Also, did you know that The Flash was also a childhood favorite of Arrow EP Craig Berlanti, along with Johns and Chrysler? They all lit up when the idea of introducing The Flash initially began as a conversation. The Flash TV Series, 2014. American TV series The Flash is a fresh take on the classic DC Comics hero, where the first episode of the show aired on October 7, 2014. While Grant Gustin plays the title character Barry Allen slash The Flash, the original plan called for seeing Red the 20 episodes of Arrow's second season to serve as a backdoor pilot with the series getting green light based on viewer interest. <laughs> Flash TV series, 2015. After being hit by lightning and falling into a coma, Barry Allen, the protagonist of this series, eventually comes to and learns that he has been endowed with the ability to move at incredible speeds, transforming him into the Flash and allowing him to battle crime in Central City, similar to what was shown in 2014, with a few twists. It's also interesting to note that there's a reference to the number 52 in each and every episode of the first season. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016. The Flash made his DCEU debut in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, making it a pivotal film. Here, the contentious Ezra Miller plays the title character of Flash. Flash only has a couple of little cameos in Batman v Superman, where he appears in two scenes. Once in a nightmare, when he provides Batman with pointers about the future, and again in a tavern, where he thwarts criminals. Also, Ben Affleck revealed in an appearance on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon that Warner Bros. informed him about the likely negative reaction to his casting, and recommended he to stay off the internet after the casting announcement. Supergirl 2016 this time around, The Flash may have been worried that he sped through a wormhole or two and ended himself on Kara's Earth this time. Something he can do, considering he is a superhero, but at least he would have plenty to do while he was stuck there. Meanwhile, despite airing on different networks, Warner Brothers produced both Supergirl and The Flash because of their shared DC Comics source material, making them a sister production. And, oh, there's a lot of flirting during this crossover for all you romance lovers out there. I have to get back to the city. How did you do that? I'm Supergirl. You're who now? Sorry, I was just, was just a little disoriented from the, the scream. How did you save me? Why? Well, you. The Flash TV series, 2016. Conversely, Grant Gustin, who portrays Barry Allen slash The Flash, started off as a recurring character on Arrow before he got his own show, The Flash. Famous DC Comics bad guys like Reverse Flash, Gorilla Grodd, and Captain Cold have all made appearances in the show. The show also has crossovers with Arrow, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow, all of which are based on DC Comics. It is important to note that there wasn't much of a plot difference between the different seasons of The Flash. Legends of Tomorrow, 2016. Some of the episodes in this series include The Flash as he deals with Eobard Thawne's sudden appearance in 2022 and his friendship with Mina Dewan, who has temporarily given herself speedster powers through scientific means. 
In contrast, a fascinating aspect of this show is the diversity of change that has permeated the CW's programming this season, with new shows being added, existing shows ramping up the stakes, and returning shows being canceled. Justice League 2017 When 2017's Justice League was released, Flash made another appearance, although a brief one. Despite his role in Superman's resurrection through the Mother Box, he is mostly employed for humorous purposes. In addition, Jason Momoa's one line of Icelandic had to be subtitled into Icelandic when the film was played in Iceland, which uses subtitles rather than dubbing for films containing non-Icelandic languages. The Flash 2023. Here, Barry Allen uses his super speed to alter the past in an effort to protect his loved ones. However, his actions result in a future devoid of superheroes, sending him into a desperate race for his life. Ben Affleck, who previously played Bruce Wayne slash Batman in Justice League, said he thoroughly enjoyed playing the role again in this movie. <laughs> 